بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمده و نسلی علی رسول الکریم برادرز و سسٹرز و اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ I have found a Surah Fatiha, which goes very well with the occasion we have today. Allah has blessed us, Alhamdulillah, with this center. And now, it's all your help and Allah's blessings that we want to continue using it without any problems, inshaAllah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين All praise to Allah Most gracious Most merciful Praise is only for Allah, the Lord of Universe, most gracious, most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship and to you alone we pray for help. Show us a straight path, the path of those whom you have blessed, who have not incurred your wrath, nor gone astray. Amin. Now, this short surah, which is the opening chapter of the Holy Quran, as a matter of fact, is a prayer. And there are quite a number of parallels which I try to bring when we go to various churches. Could they have a similar prayer? Our Father, which art in heaven, you must have all heard that. And if you break it down and take the word Father out, you know, the rest of that comes very close to what we do as dua. So Surah Fatiha, actually the opening chapter of the Quran is actually a dua, a prayer. Uh, it was this dua which I read 20 years ago as mayor's chaplain in London Borough of Sutton. And look at the blessings of this dua which brought me right to the same place as mayor in 2000. So I believe the surah is a magical surah and definitely it has got tremendous amount of effect on us. I think it's someone's mobile probably interfering with my uh, amplifier system. However, uh, we will leave a discussion. The whole surah, uh, I think you can talk about this uh, about an hour. If we keep talking about the surah, what are the benefits of surah? Strange enough, uh, once upon a time the Holy Prophet peace upon him said that this is the cure for all illness except death. You know, recitation of this surah is so important. So, because the whole Quran begins with this very word, so that's why it has got importance. Now, I thought today being Friday, it's Good Friday for many people, but it happened to be they're using our, our Good Friday's name as well, as Good Friday. Isn't that strange? That is Allah's, Allah's blessing, that um, we use that word as well as a Good Friday. Our Friday is every week, mashallah. Their Good Friday comes only once, once in a year. So we are celebrating the Good Friday, alhamdulillah, in our own way. And we thought, what best day could we choose to start the center? And I looked at the calendar 
I looked at the possibilities, it was almost difficult. We didn't have the certificate of completion for the center. And alhamdulillah, <coughs> with a great fight with the local authority, we got the MP involved. He inter interrupted uh, the whole process because <coughs> you must have all heard me talking about another disabled ramp, that we need another disabled ramp in the front. That would have cost us a lot of money. So we challenged the council. And I'm delighted to tell you, just two days ago, the 27th of this month, the council did a U-turn on their own decision. Otherwise, I had threatened them while I was still in hospital, sick on the hospital bed, I was under oxygen, and I threatened them. I said, anything goes wrong, the whole community will be after you. And that was a sort of warning which I gave them from St. Helier Hospital. And I was fighting all the time, ringing various people, and Alhamdulillah, they all resolved the situation. It took them just two weeks to come to senses, put it this way. Uh, so I have given most of the people the name of the person who was responsible for delaying it. He was our own ward councillor. He said, I'm representing these people here. I said, what about us? You have to represent us as well. So we want to show him the power now. Right? We will show you, show him the power. He wants to stand from this very ward again. Now you know what to tell him when he comes to your doorstep. <laughs> Pollock. That's the name. That's the name. He cost us so much money. I, I told him, I said, look, every Friday we raise money to pay for the building. We raised almost 1.2 million pounds. We spent it. Alhamdulillah. Where did it come from? You brothers, you sisters, you the people who followed us. I know it was difficult in the beginning when uh, we <coughs> didn't start the project. Because some people started casting shadows, you know, of doubts, saying, oh, God knows if they could start or not. Because we bought the property next door first. What they didn't realize, this property has generated 60,000 pounds. If we had 300,000 pounds in the bank, it wouldn't get you anywhere. Whatever we get, that would be basically a haram. A lot of people would say, um, you know, that's not right. Of course. Of course that won't be right, that we put the money in the bank and wait for the interest. A few hundred pounds, probably. What did we get by spending the money? 60,000 pounds in rent. And alhamdulillah, now we are in a position to tell them to get lost because we don't want you to rent this place. We have our own people who want to utilize it, uh, this property so that they become part and parcel of the community. I have someone who has promised me that he can be a second imam. If he moves in here, he can open the center, he can shut the center, he can let the allow the lettings and things like that. So that is a lot more beneficial than renting it out. <coughs> Although we're getting a little bit more rent from the council, but by giving the brother, we will get a normal rent, what we'll get. So Alhamdulillah, that 1.2 million, actually I want to talk about this a little bit more. 